Hey there, my Taurus. How are y'all doing? It's the next case, Casey Nicole, and I'm back again with the shenanigans, baby. How are y'all today, Taurus? I hope you've been having a good week, good weekend, good day. Wherever you are when you may see this video, remember that these messages are timeless and they are general. So they may not fit with everyone's story or every Taurus out there. But just go with what you know, okay? I say go with what you know. And if you don't know the story or if you don't understand what I'm talking about, then it just may not be your reading. But it is going to be a general message, okay? And it's timeless. So whenever you're meant to see it is when you're meant to see it, okay? Taurus, thank you so much, guys. If you have already subscribed to my channel, I really appreciate all of the support that I have been receiving from the people who have subscribed recently to my channel. I really appreciate all of the love that you guys have shown me. And it means the world to me, y'all, while I struggle to shuffle. <laughs> y'all know that's a theme here, me struggling to shuffle. Partially because these nails on my fingers probably are too long, okay? But I really appreciate you guys who have already shown me so much support. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that like button. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Everybody hit the like button so you can energetically connect with me and I can be able to pull your stories, okay? And also leave me some comments to let me know how I'm doing, okay? Y'all, excuse my throat if it gets a little scratchy because I have been working a lot today. I've been talking a lot. But I did want to pull some self-love messages for you, Taurus, to help you on your journey, whatever that may be. Because it's not always about just tarot and, you know, figuring out what somebody's thinking. It's really, all of that is about, like, you. It's about how you're handling your life. It's about how you're handling the journeys in your life. It's about how you're maneuvering down your own path, okay? That's what's really important. But what we're going to be using is the new deck I got, Energy Oracle Cards. And this is not a new deck for most of you because I feel like everybody has this deck when I see people read the cards. But um, it's new to me. So we're going to use this bad boy today, okay? We're going to use this bad boy today. All right. Oh, Taurus. Taurus, 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 Taurus. What is going on? What is going on, Taurus? What's going on with my Taurus out there? Let's see. Guardian Angels. Give me two cards for my Taurus of what self-love messages they need to focus on. I feel like you guys are hot. Y'all are in the southern states. Okay, if y'all are in Louisiana or Texas, I really hope that you are staying safe. Okay, I just feel like y'all are hot. Like, is somebody making you mad right now or somebody testing your patience? I feel like you've been trying not to get angry lately. I feel like people continue to put you in a box maybe where they think you're gonna get angry, but like you're really working hard not to. But it's like they're doing that on purpose to test your patience, okay? Like they're fooling with you. You know how somebody pick at you because they know that you could go off and snap and they just want to see if you're going to go off and snap? Okay. All right, so we got... Okay, so all the cards are not in reverse. I have to make sure journey is at the bottom i feel like that's important we'll come back to that later but i only said two cards so these are how the cards flipped out and i'm gonna show them to you just like this okay the first card that flipped out is patience <laughs> what did i just say this shit is freaky to me it's scary i am new at this and sometimes i don't really understand my power so it's hard sometimes that's why the messages come out a little jumbled, guys, because I'm still learning, okay? And I really appreciate you guys. I love y'all so much for bearing with me, Taurus. But it's freaky to me still that sometimes I will say these things and then the card comes out. Do you see that? I just said somebody's trying your patience. 
I just said somebody's trying your patience. And the other card is angel of strength. Did I just not say that? Man, I feel like you was trying to be patient with somebody, but you just went off on them. You went off. And the numbers on these cards is 16 and 50. So maybe the number 16, 50, or the number 7, or the number 5 means something to you. Both of these cards came out kind of pretty much in the reverse, okay? So let's read the meanings real quick. Because, wow, I just feel like somebody's testing your patience. And you're really trying to be patient, but it's like, you're like, how much more can I take? How much more can I take? Because I just felt so hot, okay? The patience card. We're going to read it in the upright and then we're going to read it in the reverse, okay? Upright. This card shows a beautiful angel holding a clock in the stillness of winter. Her quiet, peaceful energy is telling you that it's time to release old urgency and look into... Wait, my mouth is jumbled. See, they, they, they messing up your words. You're trying to say what you're trying to say and they keep cutting you off. It's time to release the old urgency and to look at things with a much clearer perspective. When this card is upright, it's telling you to relax and let go of the single-minded desperation that's been driving you. Don't try to force your will on only one person. Let's see. Yeah, don't try to force your will on only one. Oh, sorry. Don't try to force your will on only one option. When you think there's only one solution to satisfy your need or to make you happy, you are blocking many other potential solutions from coming your way. Let go of the anxiety and be flexible. Be patient, open, and creative. Choose to be peaceful in the present. The universe has more options than you may be aware of. Quiet your mind, broaden your perspective, and let them come through. Now, it came out in the reverse for you. So maybe you are having patience. Let's see. Peaceful redirection is a message. Oh, wait. Peaceful redirection is the message when this card is reversed. Open up to the options available to you, even if they aren't yet totally clear. The universe supports you when you allow its influence to help direct your outcomes and when you open your imagination to all of the potential solutions around you, the key is to keep moving forward without frantic need or urgency. Don't give up on your goal. Initiation and renewed action are needed now. So keep an open eye um, to new and unexpected opportunities around you. You may be surprised by where they lead. Wow. So you need to redirect your energy. Whatever is causing you to lose patience, Taurus, you need to redirect your energy, okay? Um, and I just, I do feel like something is causing you to lose patience. It, it may not be a person for some of you. I feel like for some of you, it is a person. And you feel like you're trapped in your mind because you're trying to figure out how to work the situation out. But you feel like you don't see any options. And I feel like what your guardian angels or whoever you believe is trying to tell you is that you're not going to see everything right now because you need to take some time to sit back and just like absorb it and continue to move forward. You know what I'm saying? Don't get stifled because you feel like there's no way. Now, angel of strength is the next card. Okay. The angel of strength card, personal power and inner strength. We're going to read upright. It means this amazing angel brings the news that this is a time of increasing power for you. It's not the time to be passive or submissive, okay? But to speak your truth and take action on your own behalf. You are capable of taking greater control and directing your own destiny. For the power that comes from within reaches out to the universe and beyond. Inner strength and Unlimited resourcefulness flow through you at this time, helping you to create real results. Call upon this wonderful angel and on your own inner resourcefulness to bring you the focus and resolve to do what's necessary in order to make your dreams a reality. Angel of strength. Okay, but it kind of came out, remember? what It, it kind of came out like, how was it? Yeah, it was like, it was like sideways. Okay, so let's see the reverse meaning. This card reversed indicates 
that you are not perceiving the truth of your own power. Perhaps you're even seeing yourself as weak or ineffectual. The situation you find yourself in may seem overwhelming, but you absolutely do have the strength to see it through to a successful outcome. Don't fall into any old patterns of giving your power away. When you let others define you or make decisions on your behalf, you take yourself out of the picture of your own destiny, creation. Meditate on the brilliant vibrating light of this angel and recall the eternal power that surges through your life. It's time to take back control. Okay? So patience. Look. Angel of strength was talking about power, right? And I believe patience was talking about having the power, right? That you need, right? Did I did I get it wrong or did I get it right? Okay? I mean, you were open the options in front. Yeah, your options. So basically, you, Taurus, need to... This is what I feel like your guardian angels are telling you, okay? Okay, as you... Like I said, I knew this card would come into play. As you're going on your journey, right? You're on a journey right now. You may be on a journey of self-reflection. You may be on a journey of loving yourself more. You may be on a journey of, you know deciding what you want to do with your life with your career but right now you need to have more faith in yourself you you need to have more faith in the power that you have because right now i think you're kind of looking at it as glass half empty instead of glass half full so taurus your message today is to just stick to the positivity like i always say stick to the positivity don't let anybody steal your thunder, steal your joy, steal your light, steal your ideas. Say how you feel and mean what you say. And everything is going to work itself out because even if you don't see it working out or you can't see how the situation would work out, your guardian angels are telling you right now that you need to have strength and you need to have patience because it is going to work itself out, okay? All right, Taurus, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope that you guys stick to the positivity. Like we said, let no one steal your joy and remember to be blessed. Y'all like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next time, okay? Bye.